any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Arthur C. Clarke was a British science fiction writer, futurist, and inventor. He is perhaps most famous for his novel 2001 A Space Odyssey, which was later adapted into a popular film directed by Stanley Kubrick. Clarke was also a prolific author and wrote over 100 books, including many other science fiction novels and short stories. Additionally, Clarke was a proponent of space exploration and wrote a number of non-fiction books describing the technical details and societal implications of rocketry and spaceflight. The most notable of these may be Interplanetary Flight, an introduction to Astronautics, 1950, The Exploration of Space, 1951, and The Promise of Space, 1968. His book, The Exploration of Space, was used by the rocket pioneer Werner von Braun to convince President John F. Kennedy that it was possible to go to the moon. Clark even appeared as a commentator for the CBS News broadcast of the Apollo 11 moon landing. In 1961, he received the Kalinga Prize, a UNESCO award for popularizing science. Furthermore, he received several Hugo and Nebula awards, and he was the TV host, among other things, of Arthur C. Clarke's Mysterious World, released on the Discovery Channel, a really interesting series that you can watch on YouTube, which deals with UFOs, cryptozoology, and other phenomena. It also shows how open-minded Arthur C. Clarke was, even when he was skeptical. Clarke was known for his ability to anticipate future technological developments and incorporate them into his writing. He's credited with coining the term geostationary orbit, and his work helped to inspire the development of satellite communication and other technologies. Clark was also an inventor and futurist, and his ideas and predictions about the future of technology and society significantly influenced the way we think about the world today. Here are some of his predictions that have come true. Satellite communication. Clark wrote about the use of satellites for communication in his 1945 essay, Extraterrestrial Relays, in the British magazine Wireless World which helped to inspire the development of this technology. Clark saw his vision of global telecommunications via satellites become a reality in 1964, with the launch of the first geostationary communication satellite, SYNCOM-3. This satellite provided live television coverage of the Olympic Games in Tokyo. Space tourism. Clark predicted that space travel would become a form of mass tourism in the future, and this is now becoming a reality with companies like Virgin Galactic, SpaceX, and Blue Origin, offering space tourism experiences to paying customers. <laughs> Telemedicine. Clark wrote about using technology to remotely diagnose and treat medical conditions, which is now a common practice in many parts of the world. Video conferencing. Clark predicted that people would be able to hold meetings and conferences remotely using video technology, which is now more and more common. Artificial intelligence. Clark wrote about the potential for artificial intelligence to surpass human intelligence, the topic of ongoing debate and research in computer science. The internet. Clark predicted the development of a global network of computers that could be accessed by anyone, now known as the internet. Clark was born in Minehead, Somerset, on the west coast of England, on December 16, 1917, while his father, Charles Wright Clark, was fighting in the First World War. He was inspired as a teenager by the November issue of Amazing Stories in 1928, the science fiction books Last and First Men by Olaf Stapledon in 1930, and The Conquest of Space by David Lasser in 1931. Furthermore, he joined the Junior Astronomical Association and contributed to Urania, the Society's journal. During the Second World War, he served as a radar specialist in the Royal Air Force. After the war, he attained a Bachelor of Science degree from King's College London. After this, he worked as an assistant editor at Physics Abstracts. Clark then served as president of the British Interplanetary Society from 1946 to 1947, and again from 1951 to 1953. In 1948, he wrote The Sentinel, for a BBC competition. Though the story was rejected, it changed the course of Clark's career. Not only was it the basis for 2001 A Space Odyssey, but The Sentinel also introduced a more cosmic element to Clark's work. In 1956, Clark moved to Sri Lanka, following his passion for scuba diving, where he lived until his death until 2008. During a dive trip off Trincomalee in 1957, 
Clark discovered the underwater ruins of a temple. One of his most important books was Rendezvous with Rama in 1973, which will likely soon be made into a film by Denis Villeneuve. In 1986, Clark was named a Grand Master by the Science Fiction Writers of America. Later in his life, Clark also became active in promoting the protection of gorillas and became a patron of the Gorilla Organization, which fights for the preservation of gorillas. Clark, along with Robert A. Heinlein and Isaac Asimov, is one of the big three science fiction writers, and he had a treaty with his good friend Asimov. Whenever someone asked Clark or Asimov who the best science fiction writer was, they had to say Clark. And on the question, who is the best science writer, Asimov. In 1988, he was diagnosed with post-polio syndrome, having originally contracted polio in 1962 and required a wheelchair most of the time thereafter. He was knighted in May 2000. Clark died in Colombo on March the 19th, 2008, at the age of 90. His aide described the cause as respiratory complications and heart failure stemming from post-polio syndrome. In Clark's authorized biography from Neil McAleer, he wrote in the preface, I'm sometimes asked how I would like to be remembered. I've had a diverse career as a writer, underwater explorer, space promoter, and science popularizer. Of all these, I want to be remembered most as a writer, one who entertained readers and, hopefully, stretched their imagination as well. Thank you for your attention. If you like this video and think we should make more videos about the great science fiction authors, write your opinion in the comments.